Hello, my name is Jitters and welcome back to the final episode of Why Nobody Plays, a mini-series of mine where I talk about the most underpicked agents in Valorant. In this series, I always start off by talking about the agent's strengths before moving on to their weaknesses and then finally I try to come up with ideas for how that particular agent could be improved. In this episode, I'll be talking about Astra. Now, quick disclaimer before I start, when I talk about the agents in this series, I'm mostly talking about them in a solo queue environment. This is important for me to say because if you watched Masters last week, Astra is actually a staple pick and pro play in the current meta. So a lot of the points I'm going to be talking about that explain why she isn't played are going to be specific to solo queue. Anyways, enough with the intro, let's get into the video. So as I said, I'm going to start by talking about Astra's strengths. She has three main ones I'm going to cover. Astra is the best agent at smoking in the game. She's the only agent in the game who can literally affect the entire map with her util. And finally, she's very strong in defense and for post playing on offense. Let's start with the first point. The reason Astra is such a good smoker is because of two main reasons. She can smoke the entire map, and she can smoke choke points faster than an agent like Omen. Before she was released, Omen was seen as the best smoker in the game, so let's compare them. Omen's range is not actually limitless. On a lot of maps, you can't really smoke from one side all the way to the other, depending on where you're playing. For example, if you're defending C on Haven and you need to smoke A long, you need to actually leave sight to walk closer to A before you can actually smoke it. And as newer maps being released like Icebox and Bree seem to be getting even bigger, this issue with Omen will start to matter even more. Astra on the other hand doesn't suffer from that same issue. She can play on C and still play stars and smoke both choke points on A without any problems. Another advantage Astra has is the speed that she can smoke these sites. If you get good enough at using Astra's astral form, you can smoke a site way quicker than Omen. This is mainly because Omen's smokes have a travel time where Astra's don't. This can easily add a few seconds of delay to an omen smoke that Astra doesn't have to worry about. Finally, the last point I wanted to bring up is the recharge time of her smoke. When Astra activates a smoke, it goes on cooldown for about 14 or 15 seconds, and that cooldown starts as soon as a star is activated. Also, unlike the cooldown for omen smoke, Astra's smoke cooldowns happen simultaneously. So if you place down two stars for a site execute and then use them both to smoke a site, you'll get them both back at about the same time to re-smoke certain choke points again. Whereas Omen in the same situation would still have to wait an extra 15 or 20 seconds for his third smoke to come online, and when it does, he only has access to one smoke. On top of that, compared to an agent like Brimstone, Astra could potentially have access to up to 5 smokes during a round, where Brim only has 3. Astra's second strength is her ability to use her util from anywhere on the map. This allows her to provide support for her team from anywhere. On defense, she can use her pull or concussion to help slow down pushes or help her teammates that are holding that site. And on offense, she can help her team by concussing or using her pull to help clear certain corners and she can even do this in a safe position, which goes along with the third point, which is that Astra is super strong on defense and for post plan on offense. When you're attacking and you see a star or two on the ground, you quickly realize that you can't really push that site. You have to try to bait out Astra's stars before you can actually push, and with 5 total stars, she can easily force your team to have to rotate or be forced to wait a long time for her to use up all her stars which is also not ideal because it gives the enemy team the opportunity to start moving up and taking control of the map. On top of that, her ultimate is very strong for helping your team defuse the bomb. It forces the enemy team to play differently because they can't just play off site in safe post plant positions because they won't be able to shoot through the wall, and they can't even really hear you start defusing the bomb sometimes, which makes it hard for agents like Viper and Brim who have post plant lineups to know when they should molly the bomb. For her post plant, her stars allow you to pull enemies off the bomb that are trying to defuse and or concuss them giving you and your team easy kills. And unlike something like Killjoy's mollies, you can't shoot them, so you're forced to either bait them out or push your team and kill her before you start defusing. Pair this with her ability to use her util from anywhere on the map, Astra can sit in a very safe position, help her team get on a site, and then easily stay alive for the post plant where she can win the round for her team. On top of that, Astra is usually played in a comp with other strong post plant agents like Sova or Killjoy, so you can pull an enemy that tries to defuse and then activate a Killjoy molly or shoot a Sova shock dart to pretty much guarantee a free kill since the enemy won't be able to escape and will become vulnerable at the end of the gravity well. With all of these really great strengths, it's no wonder she sees so much playtime in pro play, but why isn't she played more in solo queue? Well, that's when we get into her weaknesses. I'm gonna be talking about two main reasons why Astra isn't really played in solo queue, and a lot of these points are very common with a lot of the agents I've talked about in this series. Astra requires an insane amount of teamwork to make her work, and she's the most difficult controller to play, especially when communication is lacking. For the first point, I mentioned earlier in the video that Astra can use her util to affect any part of the map. The issue with this is that this requires you to have a lot of information that you just wouldn't have in solo queue in order to do it effectively. In a game where your team isn't calming, you end up playing more reactively and can't really use your util to help them defend their site since you won't know when they're pushing from the other side of the map or if they're planning the spike without the sound cues. And you also don't even know if your teammates that are playing on site would even capitalize on the util if you did time it right. 
because just like I've mentioned in other videos, it's not a good idea to rely on your random teammates to win games. This takes away a huge strength of Astros when not playing on a team with great communication. Another point I wanted to bring up is that her entire post-plant playstyle doesn't really work in solo queue either. A lot of the time when in solo queue, no one really wants to be the first person to push onto a site. Usually teams bait each other and take their time getting onto a site, so you need to learn how to initiate and make plays on your own without relying on teammates if you want to win games more consistently. With Astra, that means that you can't afford to stay back and use your util to help your team and then play post-plant since you're putting the entire fate of your games into your team. This is honestly a huge reason Astra just doesn't work in solo queue. Astra is kind of like a focal point of a team. In pro games, teams treat her kind of like a king in chess, always playing in the safest locations, helping her team take sights from really far away and then setting up for post-plants. But in solo queue, the game just doesn't work like that. Your team is never going to be some well-oiled machine that works perfectly right away. You're just five random people that got queued into a game together. And yes, you can argue that Astra can set up stars for herself and win that way, but that's just not what she excels at. At that point, you're better off playing an agent like Omen who can flash for himself and reposition easily. The second point I wanted to bring up about Astra is that she's difficult to play. And honestly, in my opinion, she's probably the hardest controller to play in the game. Even more difficult than Viper. This is my 5th Why Nobody Plays video, and after playing multiple games with all of the agents I've covered, I can say that Astro was definitely the hardest one for me to play. And the lack of communication makes this even worse because of the way her stars work. Her stars feel very unnatural to use when you first start playing her because they're unlike any other agent's abilities in the game. Every other agent besides a few examples like Omen Smokes don't take you out of the game the way Astro's util does. All the other agents press a button, equip their ability, and then can press left click or sometimes right click to use that ability which feels very fluid and easy to get a grasp of. With Astra, you leave your body to go in Astro form to place a star and then can activate it from anywhere on the map. When you first play her, it feels like Astra doesn't belong in Valorant because the game is just too fast paced for her, but if you watch any pro game, you would know this isn't the case. You can get fast enough at her util to keep up with other agents, but it takes a lot of practice to get there, and she needs a lot of communication to make her effective, which is why it feels as if she doesn't belong. It's not that Astra doesn't belong in Valorant, but that she isn't really designed to be played in solo queue, and that's why she has such a low pick rate. Well, okay, I get why she isn't played, but how can she be improved to help her solo queue pick rates? To be honest, I don't really think there's a way to do that. She's already a staple pick in pro play, so you can't really buff her. To work in solo queue, she would almost need to be completely reworked to be able to play more for herself. Maybe if she had an alternative way of placing stars? Like if she had her own key binding that would place a star where she was looking so that she could quickly place stars down in front of her. For example, she could go in astral form to place a star, or she could put her hand out and then place a star in front of her similar to Killjoy's alarm bot but with more range. This would allow her kit to feel closer to other agents which would make her feel better for newer players without really providing her with anything that pro players would use. But since she is already strong, she also needs a nerf to lower her pick rates in pro play. Something to give teams more counterplay against her post-plant stars. One solution would be to increase the cooldown on her stars, giving teammates more time between star activations. They could also decrease the pull strength of her gravity well to allow players to escape more easily. Or they can make her stars destroyable to give teams some counterplay. What do you guys think of my ideas for changes? Also, if you agree or disagree with any of the points I made in this video, please let me know. If you have any other ideas for how Astra could be changed, please leave a comment letting me know what they are. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more Valent related content.